Let's talk about a product or an innovation that we've been using for the last few years in wound care, and that's Allograph wound care products. These are products that are made from donated human tissue, primarily skin, that is processed and prepared for use in medical treatments, including wound care. The process involves several critical steps to ensure the safety, efficacy, and usability of the allografts. Here's an overview of how these products are made. Number one, donor screening and consent. The first step involves the careful selection and screening of donors to ensure the safety of the tissues to be donated. This includes thorough medical and social history reviews, as well as tests for infectious diseases to minimize the risk of disease transmission. Consent is also obtained from the donor or the donor's family in accordance with legal and ethical guidelines. Number two, tissue recovery. Once a donor is deemed suitable, tissues are recovered in a sterile surgical procedures, usually after the donor's death. The recovery process is conducted by trained professionals to ensure the tissue is harvested cleanly and safely, minimizing contamination and damage. Number three, processing and sterilization. The recovered tissues are then processed, which can involve cleaning, sizing, and sometimes demineralizing or decellularizing the tissue to remove cells that might cause an immune response in the patient. The specific processing methods can vary depending on the intended use of the allograft and the type of tissue being prepared. After processing, the tissues are sterilized to eliminate any potential pathogens. Sterilization methods must be effective against pathogens while preserving the biological and structural integrity of the tissue. Common methods include gamma radiation, ethylene oxide sterilization, or aseptic processing. Number four, testing. After processing and sterilization, the allografts undergo rigorous testing to ensure they are free from infectious agents and to verify their quality and safety. This may include microbiological testing and quality control measures to assess the structural integrity and biological activity of the tissue. Number five, packaging and storage. Once they have passed all necessary tests, the allografts are packaged in a way that maintains their sterility and then stored under conditions that preserve their quality until they are used. Some allografts may be freeze dried, or, once they have passed all necessary tests, the allografts are packaged in a way that maintains their sterility and then stored under conditions that preserve their quality until they are used. Some allografts may be freeze-dried for longer shelf life and easier storage, while others are kept frozen. Number six, distribution and use. The final products are then distributed to healthcare facilities, where they are stored according to the manufacturer's recommendations until they are ready for use in patients. Before application, healthcare providers will typically prepare the wound site and may rehydrate or otherwise prepare the allograft according to the specific product instructions. Throughout the entire process, from donor screening to distribution, rigorous standards and regulations govern the production of allograft wound care products. These standards are designed to ensure the safety, quality, and effectiveness of the allograft providing valuable options for wound care treatment. Regulatory bodies such as the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, in the United States, and equivalent agencies in other countries oversee the production and the use of these products to protect patient safety. So now you know a little bit more about allografts and how we use them in wound care.